Hi, this is Michelle of Clarinet Mentors, and today I want to show you one trick to help make all of those hard sharps and flats feel easier to play. Now I think there's many, many practice techniques we can use to help make hard finger passages feel easier and to give us a lot more comfort with them. So I'm just going to share one of those today. And this is, believe it or not, a technique I often use with new players in about their third month of playing. But it's very valuable for players of all levels. So what we have here is an exercise called the scale thing. And it's going to introduce you to four sharps and five sharps and show you one way of practicing that makes it easy to do. So by doing this exercise, which you could probably do in about 10 minutes a day, you're going to find after a week or so that those notes are much easier to play and it will sort of give you the confidence that you could approach other pieces of music that are perhaps more sophisticated and find them easy to play as well. So it might be handy for you to have the download of this music, although you could just follow along with this video. But if you'd like to find it, it's www.clarinetmentors backslash resources and in fact, I have a link for that right down here. So take a look at it. If you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be a, a link in the written description that will help you find that PDF. Meanwhile, we're going to start by just um, talking about an easy way to practice it. If we have a good system for doing things, it's always easy to learn. So one of the good systems that I like to use is to break anything hard down into very small pieces. And we just learn a little piece at a time. And we can learn a little piece of information very quickly and then we just add all the little pieces together and in a short amount of time suddenly a big piece starts to feel easy for us if you have the pdf page in front of you now what you'll see is a bunch of scales and at first glance that can look a little intimidating because we have right away in the first bar e major with four sharps in it now for some of you you might be very good at scales already and if you are, you might just stay tuned with this to get an idea of one system of practicing. If these are new to you and they look intimidating, that's great because they're going to feel much easier after you try this. So the basic idea of the scale thing is it's an introduction to some scale patterns. And the reason that people always recommend that we work on our scales is that um, once we do a particular physical pattern like a scale, many times it starts to go into the autopilot part of our brain it starts to feel very easy for us and i look at playing clarinet as having a toolbox full of different tools and each time we learn a scale pattern that's another tool in our box and the next time we're sight reading or learning a new piece in that key if we already have the tool of e major it makes it a lot easier to learn that piece so today i'm kind of giving you some tools to work with and once you master those tools your playing is going to be better all right so the scale thing takes every major scale, but we're only doing one octave and one direction. So it's a very simplified scale exercise that still gives you some valuable experience. Of course, the logical next step would be to extend these scales either to two octaves or three octaves and to go both directions. But for today, I'm going to give you this as an introductory exercise, and I'd like you to try it out and see if you enjoy it. So our very first scale here is E major. And the basic premise of the scale thing is that we want to learn patterns and have the patterns feel really easy for us. So for many of you, the first bar, E major, starting on our lowest E and going up to the top, is maybe not going to be familiar and it might be an awkward set of fingerings. So if you encounter one that feels hard for your fingers, here's how we're going to do it. It's only eight notes long and we're going to split it in half. And so initially we're just going to look at the first four notes. So I'll illustrate that in the first measure and then you'll be able to use this technique on your own for the rest of it. All right, so E major. Um, on most clarinets, our, our G sharp, which is the third note in the bar, we can only play on our right hand. Many, some of the, the more uh, newer clarinets or upper end clarinets do have a left hand version of it. But for now, I'm going to assume you might have a clarinet with only a right hand version. Whenever we have two pinky notes together, we always want to try and be alternating hands. So that means I'm going to play my low E on the right hand, which is down here. And I'm just going to finger it right now. I'm going to finger my low E. I'm going to finger my F sharp to my G sharp to my A. And I might actually just finger it two or three times to sort of get that, start to get that finger pattern into the physical finger pattern part of my brain. 
After I do that, I'm going to play it, I'm going to say three to ten times. And I want to play it until I feel like those four notes feel really easy. I might, and, and I'm going to do it very slowly. You need to do it slowly enough so that there's no mistakes. If we start making mistakes, we actually start programming those mistakes into our brain. So you might be very slow. <laughs> And perhaps as you start repeating that pattern, you'll start to go faster. But I'd like you to do it until you become aware that you're really not concentrating anymore because it's flowing quite easily. And that's when it shifts from our conscious brain, we're concentrating, we're thinking left, right, right, left, to where you're wondering what you're going to have for lunch. And that's a good state to be in. So we just play those four notes until it feels easy. And then we have four notes left in the scale, our B our C sharp, our D sharp, our E. And the same thing, I would finger that pattern a couple of times without playing it. So all of my focus is on my fingers and then I'm going to play it three to 10 times. The part of our brain that memorizes physical patterns does this through repetition. So what's really important is that we do repeat it several times. Now probably if you did it a hundred times, you would go insane. Or at least if that were me, I would go insane. So what I like to do is do it a short, you know, four note pattern, I can usually handle doing it five to 10 times and feel quite comfortable with it. And usually it starts to feel much easier. Um, so we just go through the this, this scale pattern and do that. Some of these scales, you may already know, they may feel easy. In which case, say bar two F major, that might be really easy for you. You might uh, do just the whole bar and make that a pattern. If it's an unfamiliar pattern, we don't want to have more than six things four to six notes is ideal. That's why we're splitting it in half. So those of you who want to skip ahead and say, oh, I'll just do the whole measure over and over, you're not going to learn it as quickly. The part of our brain that likes to learn needs four to six things. So four notes is perfect when we have an eight note pattern to learn. Once that four note pattern becomes one pattern in our brain, we sort of begin to associate it as one thing. Just like when we learn to read, um, we might look at the word dog, and when we're very young, we might have to sound out each letter, duh, uh, guh. That's kind of the stage we're at when we're learning harder skills. After a while, you learn that that three letter word is dog. And then when you see dog catcher or dog collar, it's very easy for us to read it. So once those four notes become one pattern in your brain, and you know that because they're easy, then you can put the little patterns together into bigger patterns. So what I would do if I were you, is learn each of these scales as they're written one octave one direction the harder ones you'll have to break into two parts the uh, ones that you're already more familiar with you might just be able to repeat them as an eight note pattern then we're going to start joining bars together and i would do that two bars at a time so i might take e major and join it to f major so now i'm actually playing 16 notes now again i wouldn't want to just start by learning a 16 note pattern but even if i've done them in chunks of four and each of those have become a pattern, then I have four little patterns. And again, that's our magic number, four things going together. Once we do that, then we can do four bars until we have all of them here. And what I've noticed with my students, um, if they're really unfamiliar with these notes, sometimes I'll just give them the first four bars to do in a week. And that's all they have to do. And I tell them to get very good at it, very comfortable, and to memorize that four bar pattern. And then the next week we add four more and the next week we add four more. So in three weeks, they're flying through this. Now, most adults can learn much faster. So if you're trying this on your own at home, you might be able to learn this whole exercise in a week at a pretty good tempo. Of course, from there, we want to expand our patterns. So you could use this as a model and do each scale for two octaves, maybe two octaves up, the next one, two octaves down. And eventually we go up and down every scale. So as I said, this is an intro, but this concept of four notes at a time and then gluing the patterns together is a pa practice technique. So it's a pattern practice technique that I'd like for you to learn. Eventually, we put it together. And by the way, this is a kind of fun warm up pattern. If we actually hear what it sounds like when we start stringing the scales together, it's a nice sounding warm. <laughs> So for me, I've done the scale thing enough that 
I can glue all those scales together and it feels like one pattern for me and it's very easy and it's a really nice warm up. And if I wanted to challenge myself, I would go much faster than that and I might, as I said, expand the octaves. So it's a really lovely warm up exercise. I'd love for you to try and see how it goes. If you're new to the Clarinet Mentors community and you'd like more information, it's really easy to get. Um, you can sign up to join the Clarinet Mentors community at www.learnclarinetnow.com and that'll give you access to our bi-weekly newsletter and you'll also be informed as soon as new videos come available and also new courses and teleseminars and other things that will help you play clarinet more easily. Enjoy this and I look forward to more video instruction with you soon.